Hello folks, I'm at you with an interesting video here. Hear me out on this. The one thing that got us into the mess we are in right now, the one thing that got us into the biggest mess that we're in right now as a country, if we boil down this giant ocean down to just bare minerals the bulk of the bare minerals fall on the shoulders of the government it does it falls on governments so this education system that we have that pushed college and this and that and this and that for so many decades that trades are frowned upon trades are disregarded except in times of need like this but as soon as this is all, you know, as soon as we recover from this, if we don't change, we're literally going to be back to square one of what we were in leading up to this situation all over again. And it, I'm just going to call the spade a spade. China's been behind this pandemic stuff for way, way, way longer than they were China, the, the country of China. Dating back to even before they were the Han Dynasty. They caused pandemics intentionally after intentionally hoarding the money and hoarding being the world's yeah, manufacture chain. to stab us as citizens of the globe, as humans on the planet, to only to take, pretty much be like the Democratic Party, give us everything, as long as we like them, as long as we stay with them, as long as we appreciate them. Only to stab us in the back when we least expect it. Back in August, I said, and this was, let me, let me go back just a hair more. Donald Trump raised tariffs to China back in August. Back in August, two days after the increased tariffs, I said, I started asking people because we increased taxation to China. What's to say that they won't retaliate? What is our backup plan? What are we going to do to prepare as citizens of the United States, as people of the world to prepare for any possible backlash that China may have? At what level are we truly prepared for the ultimate form of retaliation that China is capable of? We already know they're capable of acquiring everything from underneath the people. What's, what prepared level are we? Those were questions I was asking in August. And be like, oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. You're in la la land. Come to the real world. And I said, hold it, folks. Hold it. You are stuck up in the moment. Pull out the Bible. Pull out the history books. Take notes here. P go find a history book. If you got to buy a digital copy of a history book, buy it. Read the dang thing. Remember what we experience as people. Let me explain in detail here. In high school, I was reading about 9-11 in the history books. They changed things in the history books from what had actually happened. That is what the government does. They delete history. They change history. According to text. All right. You look at the biblical references of what we remember 
from what we went through. Look, I was old enough to remember 9-11 and everything that happened around the time of 9-11 and what has happened since in vivid detail. Airport security was vastly multiplied all over a bunch of terrorists that were, I'm not just coming, this is not a conspiracy theory here. I'm just calling the spade a spade over a bunch of Saudi Arabians that have already wronged us many times and got a free pass. And quite frankly, how we are even remotely entertaining the idea of still remaining allies with Saudi Arabia and, to, and not telling him, hey, look, you're not welcome in my home at any level anymore. That we're even entertaining the idea of continuing to allow contact with Saudi Arabia personally on our own land, that bothers me. I really hope that starts to bother you at some point in time too. We as a nation need to repent, which means to change our behaviors. We need to change our behaviors to repent. I know some of you heard the word repent and are very apprehensive. All repent means is to change our behavior. That's what it means fundamentally. So there is power in repentance. There is power in forgiveness. There's power in acceptance of the facts. Now, let me explain my stance on this. We need to accept the fact that China continues to wrong everyone constantly. That China is the bad parent of the world that keeps us under their thumb abusively. Same with Saudi Arabia. Now, I'm just going to call this spade a spade as well because it is a spade. What the hell are we doing in Iraq, Iran, Afghanistan, trying to police the world, getting laughed at the whole time because we can't even freaking police ourselves and police each other, hold each other accountable without throwing people in a cage like they're wild animals. Wait, only humans cage anything. Let me put this in perspective. Humans are the only critter on earth, the only life form on earth that owns other animal that owns other species that puts all species in cages and tanks and stuff like that. We're the only ones that put up physical fences. We're the only ones that build climate controlled houses. We're the only ones that choose the easy way out as often as we can. We're the only ones that do that. We're the only ones who day in and day out struggle to survive and thrive because we'd rather take the easy way out. We'd rather take that big giant paycheck dangling in front of our face, completely disregarding our humanity, our no, completely disregarding our own bodies, our own health, our own safety. We're the only animal, we're the only critters on earth, the only life form on earth that does that. We need to change this. We need to be more like nature. Is technology fun? You bet your ass it is. You guarantee technology's fun. You can guarantee that, yeah, technology is most likely here to stay. But at the end of the day, we need to work on being more self-sustainable. We need to value cities monetarily less. 
for buying buildings. We need to, instead of buying overpriced homes in the city because of location, 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 we need to understand that we cannot depend on our employers. We cannot depend on the economy to always be booming. We can depend on ourselves because that's truly who can actually feed us at the end of the day is ourselves. We as humans need to grow our own food. We need to be more self-reliant. Self-reliance is not depending on other people. Self-reliance is depending on yourself and not depending on others. It's gaining your true independence back. Name one thing that we are, according to the government, allowed to do without the government being involved at any level. No taxes, no licensing, no nothing. No paperwork, nothing involved that the government can look at at any time. Guess what? There's nothing. We're literally being locked in our own houses with this social distancing, distancing stuff. So many places here in America, so many media forms make this out to be way, way, way worse than it is. I've seen some stuff on Facebook that initially I'm like, that is really ridiculous. That is really sad. Looking back on it, things like nurses checking out one mask for the year. I don't buy that for an ounce. I can't buy that. I can't accept that bull crap. I can't accept that we can't get more ventilators to people who need it. I can't accept that we need drugs to heal people. I can't accept that that which almost killed me is required to save a life. I can't accept that. I won't accept that. I'm not going to hide behind a mask. I will continue to go out into public two to three times a week, support my local small businesses that are staying open. Now, let me elaborate more. Currently, if my check did not come in for next month, I can at least pay my rent next month. You know, if next month's check didn't come in, I'm at least okay for that next month. I can pay my rent. I can pay my storage locker fee. You know, my storage locker, you know, I can pay for my phone. I can pay for my rent. I can pay for my storage locker. I can get food at a food bank. I'm okay for a month after, after my next paycheck not coming in, if that's the case. I want you all to really strongly consider this. Really, really put thought and consideration into this. We're going through hardships right now. Not looking at the opportunity to whilst we still have an opportunity to set more money aside in case that check we received this month doesn't come next month or the check we received this week doesn't come two weeks from today or doesn't come next week. We need to have a backup plan. We always need to be prepared. The Boy Scout model that I grew up on was always be prepared. I can recite the FFA motto word for word. Living to do, doing to live. is part of it doing to learn learning to do doing to earn earning to do is all part of it 
every line in the FFA creed is bi-directional. I can tell you right now, I will do my duty to God and my country to protect, to serve, and to stand up for what's right, to be loyal, to be trustworthy, to be accountable myself, and to hold others accountable as I am, have always done and will continue to do. I, Matthew Hammerschmidt, solemnly swear to continue down the path I'm currently on. I solemnly swear to accept responsibility for my actions, to correct my mistakes. I solemnly swear to, even if people walk away from me, to accept that those who walk away from me were never mine to begin with. I solemnly swear to continue to hold my hand, my entire views. I solemnly swear to continue to put them on the internet for all to see. I have no country preference set for a reason. And I solemnly swear to keep it that way. I have no gender set preference set on my accounts for a reason here on YouTube. My YouTube account is not gender set. I solemnly swear to keep it that way. I solemnly swear to continue to upload videos when I can, as often as I can. I solemnly swear to continue to be honest, to continue to be truthful, to continue to be loyal to the truth. Even if that means people walk away from me, I solemnly swear to continue down the path I'm on. I, Matthew Hammerschmidt, accept full responsibility for my actions that result as what I allow into my brain, what I allow myself to think, and what I allow myself to do. I fully accept to be integrity, to, have, to maintain integrity and improve integrity. I solemnly swear to do the right thing regardless. I solemnly swear to continue to bring you unbiased, educated understandings of things. As my New Year's resolution, I continue to hold it up. It's my life goal. It's not just a New Year's resolution. It's a life goal. I, Matthew Hammerschmidt, continue to not hide behind a fake name. To never hide behind a fake name. Whilst I may have branding, I promise to continue to be honest, give full disclosure. And I promise and I swear to continue to work on improving the world by educating the world. I solemnly swear to fulfill all of my life goals and continue to achieve them. I solemnly swear to, as I'm creating goals, before I officially set them as a goal, to evaluate them long term, to make sure that they're for the good of all, not for the good of the wallet. Not for the good of what one person says or another person says, but for what is the truth, the full truth and nothing but the truth. Thank you folks for watching. I hereby sw swear myself into the oath of my company and my goals on camera today, even though my company is not above the table at this time. Please do, if you're in the, in the area, if you're in Eastern Washington and you need work done, reach out to me. If I can use your equipment, if you're willing to allow it, I'll be grateful for the opportunity of employment by remaining self-employed and treating you just as family. Thank you.
Have a beautiful day. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you want to continue to see more videos and not miss another video, if you see that subscribe button below and you want to continue to see these videos and you have a deep appreciation for these videos, please continue to watch the videos at your own discretion. If you're willing to, you've been on the fence. I'd like to know what your reserves of hitting that subscribe button. If you're already subscribed and are not seeing these in your newsfeed, something must be wrong. However, if you are subscribed and you're having a hard time staying up on these, I know a lot of you are. I ask of you, if you're already subscribed, to consider selecting the notification bell, selecting the all option rather than personalized. Now, as a YouTube content creator, I must inform you of what exactly the personalized notifications do versus the all versus the net. The none give you no notifications at all, not even in your subscription list. Well, they do give you, it appears in your subscription list, but it doesn't give you a notification at all. What personalized does is based on your thumbs up and your thumbs down videos that are similar to what you have hit thumbs up on will be recommended to you. Videos that I've uploaded that you've selected personalized on, which happens by default on the first selection of the notification bell. As the intermediate level of it, it goes based on what you thumbed up and what you thumbed down. To the algorithm, a thumbs up, a thumbs down, and a comment all mean the same thing. Just channel interaction. I honestly am always looking forward to feedback. I understand I fell way behind on comments, but I'm getting caught up. And if I haven't gotten to your comments on previous videos, whether it be through a phone call because I know your number or through a public response. Um, I admit there's some questions on there and concerns I need to address publicly. I'm working on those a little at a time. I'm not going to bog myself down trying to get caught up. I just went through a month long you know, training thing. I'm working on getting my sleep schedule back in order. However, I still have the same number of hours that I'm awake each day. And I'm still doing stuff on YouTube, interacting with other channels and so on and so forth. I thank you for making it through to the end of this video. I thank you for any responses you give me to my videos. And quite frankly, a lot of my controversial topics are very... To say the least, they bring a lot of good people to the channel, more so than bad. Bad people, I haven't seen a negative comment for over three months. I read the comments. It's just I'm behind in response. I read every comment, no matter what. I will continue to, even if that means I have to spend more time reading them. I'll still do it. I value your input. And I do appreciate for the corrections people point out of my, you know, the mistakes that people point out in my videos. I like to address those and correct them. If I don't directly fix the mistake within the video itself, Chances are it's either within the description or within the comments. Thank you all. And remember, be careful, stay safe,
Praise the Lord for the blessings around you. And remember, God only puts the same intensity as you do into the good things. God only puts in it intensity. God only assists with good. God is great. We've all accepted him once. Those of you in denial of him, you've already accepted him once. What's holding you back? I'd like to know. I'm more than willing to, and I'm happy to answer questions. Thank you. We'll catch you all in another video for those of you who enjoy my channel. For those of you who currently think I'm meh, full of crap, I pray for you. Amen. And I testify in the name of the Lord, our God, in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen again.